Hi everyone, I am Abhisar Oja and welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. In this session, we will create a MP3 player using Python. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel, like the tutorial and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Before we start, I hope the screen is clearly visible and the audio is fine. If yes, please type in yes. If there are any issues, do let us know in the chat section. And before starting, first we should have a look on what we would create. So for that, we will move to our code. Simply run this. You can see that the take intermento has appeared. And this is our media player. We have named it simply music player. We have the GIF that would be running continuously. And we have the browse music button which will direct you to the any folder you want to open that have the mp3 player files. I have selected this folder. It has four files and we'll play hey there. We'll just click on that and click on the play button. It will play the music. Now we'll just click on the pause button. So this is our mp3 player. So before starting the coding, I have a simple question for you guys. So moving to that. So the question is, who wrote the poem Zen of Python? And your options are Tim Berners-Lee, Tim Peters, Guido Van Rusum, or Kevin Goldsmith. You could see the poem here also. You can easily get this poem. You just have to write import this in your interpreter and just press enter. You will get the poem. So please answer in the comment section below and we will update the correct answer in the pinned comment. You can pause the video, give it a thought and answer in the comment section. So moving to a code. First, we will create a folder. and name it as create mp3 player using python and inside we will open the command prompt and write the command code space sorry period and press enter this will open up the editor that is visual studio code if you want you can use any editor you have hands on any editor you can use anyone and here we will create a file and we will name it as player.py only and we would require music also for that and some gifs and some images for our buttons you can easily get those images from any free images website or you can just get them draw in the paint or photoshop them you can arrange them from anywhere so we have our pics in this folder so we'll copy all these and we have the music folder it has four files and this is the copyright free music so we can play on youtube we will paste this in a folder only that is create mp3 player using python yeah moving back to our visual studio code so first thing is we should install the python packages before starting our coding so we would require the takeinter package it is already installed as you install the python if you want to install it again just Go to your terminal and write the command pip install tk. As you can see that the requirement is already satisfied. So you, I don't have to install it again. You can install it just writing the command and press enter. And the next we have to install is the pygame to import the mixer class. Uh, sorry, the command would be pip install pygame 
and press enter you can see that the requirement is already satisfied i have already installed the pygame module you just have to write the command and press enter you will get them installed very easily and the next module we need is time so you can install the date time module or the time module it's your wish so we have to write the command pip install date time so it was not installed on my system it has been installed and it doesn't have some classes in the module it has installed them and it says the requirement is already satisfied for other modules okay so now and the last is os module Install the this window is not going, so we will just go to the terminal. Okay. Just get a terminal and write the command here pip install. OS so OS and press enter so it will install the OS module for you it is doing for me right now <coughs> and we would be using the tkinter module to create the GUI and tkinter is a python module that is used to develop graphical user interface and as I told you, there's no need to install it. It is the part of the standard Python library. So it would be installed as you install Python on your system. So it's downloading. Till then, we'll just import our packages. First, we'll import time. And that we will use in to get the GIF set up in our GUI. So we'll import the time and from tkinter we will import all the classes and we will import the field dialog And from Pygame, we'll import the mixer class to get our buttons functioning to make our mp3 music video music like mp3 file to start playing, to pause it, and to resume it again. So, for that, we'll write the command from Pygame. import mixer <coughs> it's still downloading till then we'll import the OS also it will get it downloaded and installed for us so first we'll create the tkinter video uh, window for that we'll write the simple command root equal to tk and circle brackets and write the command root dot main loop and if we save it and run it oh sorry it was downloading let's post the downloading okay we'll see it again so you can see that the tkinter window has appeared on the screen it's the output it's a simple tkinter video now we'll add functions to it 
we will add size to it we will add background color and we'll do other functionings to that so tkinter provides many methods and one of them is geometry method and it is used to set the dimensions of the tkinter window as you have seen so we will just position the main window on the user's desktop we will use the command root dot geometry for that set the size as 485 cross <coughs> that is x only and for y axis it would be 700 and now we would get it 290 point shifted from x axis and 10 points shifted from y axis and we have to put them in inverted commas we will save the file and run it again you can see that the take into window has changed its geometry and it has set the x axis as 485 and y axis as 700 and when it appeared it was 290 as what dimension that uses it was 290 points apart from the x axis and 70 sorry 10 points apart from y axis yeah 290 and 10 so now we'll give the title to this window for that we'll write the command root dot title and just write the title do you want to give it you can give it anyway so we will name it as simply music player and now we will use the configure function so take into configure function it is used on any widget to change settings that you may have applied earlier or haven't applied yet so for that we will write the command root dot configure and we will set the background color so write background equal to an inverted commas we'll write the hexa code for this color so we're setting the gray color for our background we'll save it and run the file so you can see the output so we have set the simply music player as the root title of our taken top window and we have configured the background color as gray so moving on now we will use the resizable method it is used to allow take enter root window to change its size according to the user's need as well as it will prohibit like it will not allow you to change the size of the window the window you just saw on the screen that was a take enter window so we will use the resizable function and we will prohibit we will not allow anyone to change its dimensions so for that we will write the command root dot resizable false comma false so in resizable method user can pass either positive integer or true to make the window resizable to make window non-resizable user can just pass zero or false we have passed false so our window won't be resizable we'll save this file and run it again you can see now we can't resize it so first i will command this command and save it and run it for you guys You 
can see that you can resize it now but after we write this command no one is allowed to resize the tick enter window we will save this and run it you can see now no one is allowed to resize this window you won't get any option so now moving on as you have seen the previous dimensions and the demonstration of the simply music player we'll create as same as that only so we will place the gif here a label here and place the buttons on that and beneath that we will just create a label and browse all the files there so we'll start with the frame for that we'll write the command first we'll create a variable and name it as lower frame and a frame is a rectangular region on the screen it can be used as a foundation class to implement complex widgets it is used to organize a group of widgets so we'll be creating a frame and we'll place different buttons on that that would be the play button pause button and the stop button and the volume that is just the image we'll place the volume image there so lower frame equal to we'll write frame to get a frame and inside we'll pass root and get a background color as white that will write the hexacode hash and the hexacode for white color is fff and that is six times you can go and search on the web about the hexacodes like which color is associated with which hexacode or you can just write the simple name of the colors you can get your background set as well that also and here we'll set the width for our frame so width will set as 485 only it should cover the whole window in x dimensions and for height we'll set it as 180 we'll create the same simply music player as i have shown in you as i've shown the demonstration earlier so we have set the height as 180 so now we will use the place method that allows you to explicitly set the position and size of a window or anything like we are just creating a frame so it would use to position and size of the frame it would be either in absolute terms or relative to another window so for that we will write the command first we will get the frame that is stored in the lower underscore frame variable and use the place function to place it in our take enter window and write the dimensions for that we would start from x equal to 0 and place it at y equal to 400 now we'll save the file and run it Okay, we have one tick and term window already opened so i closed it you could see that this is the frame we have set it at x equal to 0 and y equal to 400 so it would measure as y equal to 0 here and y equal to 400 here so we have placed the frame now we will place the buttons on that and first we will set a logo for simply music player that we have in a folder so this is the logo for our simply music player we will set it so that will write the command
first we will create a variable and name it as image icon and here we will use photo image so like after writing in this photo image it would like it would create a photo image object and you can use it in other widgets that accept an image argument that is some buttons they accept image argument photo image argument you can use the images there also and the image object is returned by the photo image function it's the easy to display a picture in python however the photo image class only supports the gif and pgm ppm formats which is a concern jpeg jpg and png are the formats that are most often used so now in the photo image object we'll just write the location of the file as we have it in the same folder so we'll write the name only that is logo space png and the extension that is png only now to get it set as icon photo we'll write the command root dot icon photo and pass the argument as false comma image underscore icon now we'll save the file first we'll close the previous one and run it you could see that the logo has been placed there so now moving on we will create the menu we will again run the file so here we will create the menu to browser music so for that first we will create a variable menu and create a photo image object and write the file name only as here we don't have to set the part as all the images are in the same folder only so for this we will use the menu.png that is the white image i will show you what we will get as output so we have to place this in inverted commas and now for this we will create a label so in tinker in tkinter some widgets can display an image such as label and button so in ting in tkinter label repeat in tkinter label is a widget that is used to implement display boxes where you can place text or images so we will create a label here and place the menu.png image on that so to create it we will write the command we have started with label and inside we will pass root and the image we will write the variable name here that is menu and now we will place it we'll position it in our take enter window so for that write the command place and inside write x equal to 0 and dimensions okay so y would be 580 
and we would also set the width and height for that and the width would be 485 so it could cover the whole sorry I didn't write the width that would be 485 and now we will set the height I will set as 100 only guys it would be <coughs> in the bottom section so it won't get much height so we will save this and run the file you can see that we have created a label here also and a label here also and we have pasted the white image place the white image on that label so this is the label that is of the white color and now we have placed another image on uh, another label so i will show you what for what purpose we have done that so first we will create a button that would be for the browse music that will write first pass root and then what text we want to show on that button that would be browse music and then we will set the width of that button that would be 59 and then we would set its height and set the height as one only and now you you can set font also like which font you want to get displayed on that button for that you just have to write font equal to and start the circular brackets and inside you can write which font you want i will go with calibri and font size would be 12 and i wanted bold so in inverted commas i will write bold and outside this circular bracket i will set the foreground color that is the text color only foreground color as black you can write the hexa code or just write the name of the color and we'll set the background color as white for this button use hexa code here that is 60 maps and now what function does this button do so it will show us the music that would be stored in our folder we will browse the folder and it will show us the mp3 mp3 files that would be contained in that folder so in command we would write the name of the function that we will create to get all the mp3 files so we will just add music only now outside this bracket we will place it it's showing error as we have not defined the add music function so we will place it at x equal to 0 y equal to 550 No. add scroll bar so that when we get all our mp3 files we can just browse just by scrolling so we can get all the mp3 files on that small window we will create now so we'll set the scroll bar for that for that write the command 
scroll bar and inside get of frame music so first we'll set another frame uh, and we will get it as gray color only with that we will write the command frame underscore music we will create a frame and inside we will pass root and set the border equal to 2 and relief equal to rich so we have set the relief equal to rich so relief is a style and it's a style of a widget that refers to certain simulated 3d effects and we are giving the 3d effect to a button and that effect is rich so we will see that but before that we have to get our add music defined showing error so no we won't get the take enter window as we have to define the and music so we have created the frame and now we will place this and after that we will create that music function for this we will write frame underscore music that was the variable name and period place and now we will position it in a take enter window so we want it at x equal to 0 y equal to so we would place it at 585 and we would so define its width and height so width would be 485 and height is 100 so we were creating the scroll bar so first we'll create the scroll bar and then define the add music function so now we will set the scroll bar in the frame music variable as we want the scroll bar in that frame i will show you in the demo only after i create that music function so first we'll create that music function only So we will create it here. And yes, add music. And first we want that it should have path and here we would use file dialog it would pop out the dialog box box to the directory we, which we would assign or take it to next right if our path change directory pass the path here source 
equal to this dot list of directory path Okay, <laughs> we have problems here, but now we will resolve them. So, first, if the path we have chosen, and here we will change the path, and in this songs variable, we will get the list of all the songs in that directory, and now. We will create or run a for loop for song in songs, but all the songs we got F song ends with MP3. That is dot mp3 get playlist dot insert you will pass and the process and Pass the song. So we will get this playlist variable working in another function that would be the play music function. So it should play the music for that will create the function play music. create a variable name that would be music underscore name and inside you get playlist dot get and make it active and now we will print music name and this would be printed in the terminal first pass active that is which music is playing and now you would use the mixer class and music dot load function and pass the playlist use the function load cat and get it as active and now here we will play Now we are getting errors for playlist. So first, get the playlist variable that would be having all the songs in that. So for that we will write a variable playlist, and that would be equal to it would have the list box equal to list box and inside we will pass the frame that we have created for music
and set its width that would be equal to 100 and now we will set the font for that so you can see all the names of the mp3 files in the same font only and for that we would write times new roman and set the font size as 10 and outside this bracket we'll set the background color <laughs> for the playlist for that write pg and we'll set it as gray only so hexa port for gray is three 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 and that is six times we'll close the inverted commas and set the foreground color as gray only now select background that would be of the light blue color set the cursor and it's hand to I will explain you what this means first we'll set the border equal to zero only why scroll command that would be equal to light blue now we will set the y scroll command that would be equal to scroll dot set So it should be used to scroll. So we have set the cursor equal to hand to. That means that it would convert to hand when we scroll on the list box. That is when we would try to select any of the MP3 player files. It would show us the hand cursor. And the background color is light blue. We have set and scroll command equal to scroll load set. Okay now we will configure it okay maybe we have some errors we will resolve them and we will see the output also just after this so first we will configure the scroll bar So with that we'll use the variable only. Scroll dot config and inside we will have the command equal to playlist dot y view. So we should have in the y axis only and now we we'll pack the scroll bar place it at right and fill the y axis for that we'll write fill equal to y and now 
we will pack the playlist playlist dot pack place it side equal to right and it should fill both the sides it should be filled so that will write the command which I cannot appear after keyword argument okay and get it sorted save the file run it so you can see that we have the browse music button here and if we click it we have the functioning it will we will select the folder create mp3 player and this is the folder that is music and we'll select it it has four files i will show you in that also so this is the folder it has four files it is displaying us all the four files and you can see that we have the cursor as hand here that is we have set it as hand two so now we will do other functionings that is place the gif run it and place the buttons so first we will place the buttons and run it so for that after this frame music we'll start with the buttons <coughs> so first we'll create the play button for that we will create a variable and name it as button play and we'll use a photo a picture for that button that will create a photo image object and pass the file for it and we have that file name play1.png so we'll just write the name of that file in inverted commas and now we will set the functioning Set the button will pass root and the image is equal to the variable we have set it for that that is button play okay. is capital for play and we'll set the background color for the button that would be white only because we have the white label here so it would be perfect for that and now we'll set the border that would be equal to zero and okay we have to place it in inverted commas else it would be functioning as a comment only we have set the border that is equal to zero now height okay JGHT. Oh, so just for what the spelling of height? Okay, so I have to declare the height first. So we will get these buttons in 60 to 60 dimensions only. So we'll set the height as 60 and width also as 60. And now we would set the command for this button. So what functioning should it do for that we will write the function name that is play music and now we will place this at x equal to 215 and y equal to 
and we have created the play music function above you can see that it has the functioning to play the music we have used the mixer.music.load from the pi game and it would get the playlist and the active contents there and it would play it so we are done with a play button we'll save it and run the file so when taken the window is opened first we'll close that <coughs> start it so first we'll browse so this was the folder that i'm in there, music we'll select this folder you can see we have these four files we'll click on the one and just click on the play button okay uh we forgot to add one functioning so first we will create all these buttons and then add all other functionings now we will create the second button that would be the stop button for that we will create a variable and name it as button stop and here also we'll create a photo image object we'll pass file and in inverted commas <coughs> and we have stop one dot png for this so we'll just write the file name and in the next line we will define the functioning of this button so inside button we will pass root and image that is the variable button stop and set the background color equal to white only <coughs> and that would be in the inverted commas and now we'll set its border that would be zero and height and width would be 60 only and after that we'll set its command that would be mixer dot music dot stop so we are using the mixer class the music class inside that and the stop function and now we will place this in a taken to window with that we will write the dimensions for that x equal to 130 and y equal to 487 So we have created the stop button. We will save this and run the file. You can see that the stop button is also displaying on a tick and down window. And now <coughs> we will make our third button that would be the pause button for that we'll use the pause one png this is the image so for that we can just copy these things place it here so button pose equal to photo image and we will use the image pose one dot png and we 
get it Boom, yes we have set all others as big so button pose background color white border 0 height 60 mid 60 command would be mixer dot music dot pose and we'll place it at 300 comma 487 We'll save this file and run it. You can see that we have the pause button displayed here. Now we will get the volume button, not the volume button, just the image. So this is the image volume.png. We will get it there so for that we will create a variable volume 1 and create a photo image object and set the file location and the location is it's already placed in the same folder so we'll just write the name of the file that is volume.png and that would be in the inverted commas <coughs> and now we will place this at x equal to 20 and y equal to 487 now we'll save this and run the file so we are having some errors okay uh, we can't directly use the place here so first we'll create another variable and create a label for this image so for that we will use panel and equal to well side will pass root comma that is equal to volume one and now we will use the place and place it at x equal to that was at 300 and five would be seven hundred that would be 487 now we'll save this file and run it you can see okay we have made a mistake here so it should be here so x would be less it would be around 20 and y would be same for that only so we'll change that save this and run the file again yeah you can see that we have the volume image we have the play button the post button and the stop button now we'll get the gif working for us and now we will get our gif working but before that we will make the mixer initialize so that our buttons they should function that is play pause and stop so we have imported the mixer class so we will initialize it we'll save this and run the file now you can browse the music 
click on the any mp3 file and click on the play button you can hear that the music is playing so i will pause it now we will start with the functioning of our gif uh, so we have to cut the previous part and now start with frame count so the frame count of our gif is 30 and we will store it in a variable and now we will create another variable as frames and inside we will start with square brackets and create a photo image object and inside we will pass the file the gif file the name of the file is a1.gif and here we have to specify the format of the file for that you will write format equal to in commas gif and index and we will set the index and i so we would be using the list comprehension here now we will run the loop so for that we'll write for i in and use the range of the frame count so what we will do is the gif has so many images in that so we have to run a loop so it would again repeat itself as the frame count would be equal to the count as the images would be repeated in a loop we will set the count equal to zero and repeat it again so for that now we'll create a function and name it as update and inside we'll pass a variable id create a variable with name frame and inside we will pass ind variable frames and as this image would be displayed we will increment the ND variable and if IND is equal to equal to frame count that is if it has displayed all the images in the GIF we will set it at 0 and run it again and we would set the GIF and label so we will configure it and we have to define the label also so for that we'll write label equal to label and set will pass the root and now we'll configure it and pass image will do what frame we have currently like <coughs> a 
and no. And we'll use the after function and pass 40 milliseconds so that the animation would start again and pass the update function the current IND and now we will place the label and x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 and again we will run the after function and pass 0 milliseconds and the update function 0 frames okay If find this if statement only Okay, first we have to place the label statement above now. Yeah. Now we are done with that GIF. Save this and run the file. So we are getting an error here. Okay. So updated. Okay. Then save this file and run it again. Okay. Encode displayed. So we have this label above. Just browse the files, select the folder and click on any file and just click on the play button. You can see that our mp3 player is working. We'll just set the GUI again. You pause it or you could stop it. So we will Get this downwards. For the starting of the buttons, now we'll save the file and click on run button. You can see that the GIF has taken the whole frame and now we'll browse the files. We have selected the folder and our if statement will find the mp3 files. You can click on the file and just click on the play button. You can see that our simply music player is working fine. So I will share the code link with you in the description and with that 
we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section below. And also do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Sigtila. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.